Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about how to give a triggering pulse to the monostable multivibrator. See, this is the monostable multivibrator we have taken from the beginning. Monostable multivibrator, also known as one shot. One shot. The meaning of this one is one shot or monostable multivibrator. It is having one stable state. It is having one stable state. What is the other one? Other one is a quasi stable state, which is nothing but a temporary stable state. If you observe the circuit diagram, there is a cross coupling from collector to base of each transistors. Okay. But if you observe, the coupling elements are one way we have used a parallel combination of resistance and capacitance and on the other way we have used a single capacitor capacitor alone the meaning of this one is actually we have used resistor alone here but to provide some compensatory action in the attenuation we have taken the capacitance along with the resistance here previously it was resistor alone Okay, when it was resistor alone, R2, R3. That means the voltage division across this R2 and R3 is applied to this base of the transistor. But because of the existence of some input capacitance of this transistor, it makes some uncompensatory attenuation. That's why to provide attenuation compensation, we have given the capacitor C1 here. That is the reason why we have added capacitor here. Actually, there was no capacitor. Okay, that means if you neglect this capacitance action here, we can say one way we are having pure resistor, on the other hand, we are having a capacitor alone. Okay, now the stable condition of this particular monostable multivibrator is Q2 is in on state and Q1 is in off state. How we have assumed in the designing also in the previous classes. In the designing of monostable multivibrator also, we have started the equation condition or stable state condition such that Q2 is in on state and Q1 is in off state provided the capacitor is connected here and resistor is connected here. Okay. Suppose if this capacitor is connected alone here to uh, at the Q2 and the resistance is connected at Q1, then the cases are altered. Q1 becomes on and Q2 becomes off in that case. That depends upon the capacitor where it is connected. Okay. Okay. Suppose assume another opposite condition like a Q2 is in off state, Q1 is in on state. When Q2 is in off state, what happens? There is no flow of current in this direction. Then current flows only in this direction. The capacitor is having a charging path. For the opposite case, I am saying when the Q2 is in off state and Q2 is in on state. So as this transistor Q1 is in on state, there is a flow of current from VCC through R and C. <coughs> so that makes the capacitor to charge. Capacitor charges, charges and what is the maximum voltage it can charge? VCC. During this incremental period, it meets the gamma, V gamma voltage. Somewhere it meets the V gamma voltage like 0 0.3 or 0 0.7 volts. That 0 0.7 volts is applied at the input of the base of this particular transistor Q2. When this transistor is having sufficient input voltage, this transistor comes into on state. Here we are not doing anything. Okay. Just if we assume this is the case like Q2 is in off state and Q1 is in on state. This is the situation what happens I am explaining. Okay. Capacitor charges. When it reaches V gamma, this V gamma is applied for the transistor base to emitter junction so that it comes into on. So as long as the current, current still coming in the same direction, it goes into saturation region. So without our in, uh, intervention, the Q2 comes into on state and Q2, Q1 comes into off state. Now what happens? On the other hand, we don't have any capacitor here. We have pure resistor. This capacitor will not come into that action what this capacitor C has done. Okay. So as this is a resistor alone, then 
there is no chance for the q1 to come into on state until we externally trigger it hope you understand this is the reason why monostable multivibrator is having one stable state and one quasi stable state okay so it has one stable state and one quasi stable state quasi means temporary quasi stable state now other name is gating pulse generator we already know this just i am reminding you gating pulse generator or we can also say it is now one shot okay so it needs a triggering pulse at yet where we need to apply the triggering pulse is it at the base is it at the collector or where or at which transistor see which transistor is in on permanently q2 q2 is in on state permanently even after we are trying to change okay so we need to make this particular transistor q2 to off then automatically the voltage appeared at this collector 2 will make the transistor q1 on so we need to bring this q2 off forcibly so we need to apply a negative signal at the base of this transistor q2 okay if we apply a negative pulse at this base this negative pulse will bring the voltage down to the negative value like minus 1 that makes the transistor q2 off so one way is we can apply at the base 2 nothing but base of this transistor q2 or other way is where it is connected it is connected the collector of the first transistor it is connected to the collector of first transistor so as the collector and base are coupled together we can apply a negative pulse here also okay so there are two positions for this particular monostable multivibrator to trigger so triggering pulse at where it is one is base of q2 and second one is collector of q1 so what type of triggering pulse we need to give negative going trigger pulse so triggering pulse is a negative going pulse negative going pulse that means it will be like this okay so in order to make very small duration and we need a differentiator we need a differentiator so to provide short intervals we need a differentiator we need a differentiator differentiator is nothing but high pass filter capacitance followed by resistance capacitance followed by resistance so here we are giving some triggering pulse uh, like a rectangular waveform or a square waveform this pulse is applied to this particular capacitor and resistor then it gives spikes like this okay it is nothing but differentiated output differentiator is nothing but high pass filter when rc is less than less than the time period t this is the input signal time period okay if we have assumed the capacitance and resistance values in such a way that this resistance and capacitance product nothing but time constant of this circuit is very very less compared to the input signal time period then capacitance charges 
and discharges at rapid rate that's why there will be a generation of spikes like this okay now what is that we need a negative going pulse we don't need positive going pulse so in order to get a negative going pulse only what we need to do we need to eliminate positive peaks so how to eliminate positive peaks that is obtained from by taking a rectifier so take a rectifier so who is doing the rectification diode nothing but diode after high pass filter to get only negative peaks okay so the same circuit just i am taking capacitance resistance followed by which type of diode is it forward direction or in the reverse direction it should be in the reverse direction because we should allow negative going pulses and eliminate positive going pulse then so here we will be having both positive peak and negative peak but here we will be having only negative peaks negative triggering pulse this is the way to generate a negative triggering pulse by taking high pass filter followed by diode as a rectifier now we need to apply this circuit at the input of this is the place where we need to give input of collector of q1 or another one is input of collector of q1 or base of q2 okay so whenever this negative going pulse is going to the input of this particular base automatically the state of that particular transistor will be altered okay so here we need to apply this particular circuit capacitance resistance should be connected to the vcc resistance and take a diode and this diode connected here okay take something like r dash c dash here and apply a, a triggering pulse here okay so this is the way to generate a triggering pulse okay so now let us assume the pulse width of the triggering pulse is let the pulse width of triggering pulse is tp is equal to 1 microsecond so let the time constant of the circuit rc r dash into c dash nothing but the time constant be 1 tenth of the pulse width let this product be 1 tenth of pulse width that is r dash c dash is equal to tp by 10 which is equal to 0 0.1 microsecond suppose if you are asked to design this particular r and c values let r dash is equal to 10 kilo ohms here also we are assuming some values otherwise we cannot calculate 0 0.1 microsecond divided by 10 kilo ohms that is equal to 10 picofarads okay so if you are asked to design the triggering pulse also like in the previous case then we have to assume either capacitance or resistance values okay so this is the way to apply a triggering pulse for the monostable multivibrator see what happens after the application of triggering pulse the states of these two transistors are altered again after some time the capacitance charges and makes the transistor q2 on okay thank you